Happy Friday afternoon and hope everybody has a great Memorial weekend. So we're out here doing a little gardening Friday evening. Yeah, evening, not afternoon, sorry. Um, it's about 5.30 here and the UPS truck just showed up. So we're going to show you what we got. It's our new um, inverter and a charge controller from Midnight Solar. Um, it's their new DIY line. So we're going to pull it out of the box and we're going to explain to you what we got here. I'm going to get the boxes out on the bed of the truck here real quick. So the first thing we have here, this is a Bluetooth dongle that will allow you to connect to your charge controller with Bluetooth. And uh, I can show you what that looks like. Can't actually connect to one because it's in our camper down there. So we can sh turn around and show you the camper while I'm finding the app. So that's what the main screen looks like. Of course, it's not connected to anything, so all the, all the uh, values are blank. Maybe if I turn around a little bit. There you go. And we'll show you more of this in a little bit. You don't need to you know, focus on it a lot right now. So what this is, this is a 60 amp, 150 volt charge controller. So you open the box, there's a manual, midnight solar manual. There's a cable. Don't know what that's for just yet. There's a battery temperature sensor. And then there's a heat sink sticking out of the top. Let's see if I can prop that up. So there it is. It is a 60 amp, 150 volt DC input charge controller. No fans. Uh, all heat sink. That's all a big extrusion in the back. So nice, heavy charge controller. And I'd say it probably weighs eight ish pounds. It's got some pretty good weight to it. So that's the charge controller. That's the Bluetooth dongle that goes with that. I do not know what that's for. We'll have to look in the manual later. And we'll get this hooked up and we'll we'll show you how it works in a follow-up video. But initial impressions, it's pretty cool. Um, I've been using a 30 amp version of this. Sue and I have in the camper. It's been in the camper for about three years now, I think, give or take. And had no problems at all with it. Works great. So now what we have over here is an inverter charger with charge controller. So this is an all-in-one product. We call it a hybrid inverter. Um, open the box. We've got our warranty card, some screws, some bolts, and again another manual by midnight. This is the MN3548 DIY and what that stands for is 3500 watt 48 volt. Get this out of the box. This has got a little bit of weight to it, but it is a high frequency inverter. It's got about a 7,000 watt surge capability. Get it opened up so you can see the whole thing. Got a little dust on it, but you can see it out here in the sun. So that that unit there is a 3500 watt, 120 volt, pure sine wave inverter with an AC charger. So if you've got a generator or utility, you can charge your batteries. But it also has a built-in MPPT charge controller it goes up to 150 volts, and I want to say 
60 amps, but it may be 80. Give me just a second. I'm going to look at the manual. 80 amps. So it has an 80 amp, 150 volt charge controller built into it. So it's basically like having a classic 150 alongside, say, a 3500 watt inverter, 120 volt inverter. All in one box that weighs probably, I'm going to say about 14, 15 pounds. So, pretty cool. We're going to get this hung on the wall. We're going to power it up. We're going to run some loads off in it. Uh, this is 120 only. I do understand that Midnight's going to have a split phase version of this with a 600 volt MPPT built in within like maybe two months. Um, this one, again, is 120 only. We're probably going to find our Trace 240 auto transformer and power the whole house with this. So our goal is to replace our classic 150 and our Snyder XW with this one box. That's going to be pretty cool, and it's going to be pretty impressive when you see it in, in the power shed. Because for those of you that have seen a Snyder XW, it's about this tall and about 160 pounds. So I'm looking forward to getting this on the wall and playing with it and seeing what we can do with it and seeing what happens when we torture it, you know, because we're going to run the whole house off in it. So that's kind of it. We want to give you an unboxing video on the Midnight products. Um, they have this in a 3024 as well. So a 3000 watt 24 volt battery. And on this over here, the part number, which I did not give you earlier, and we'll put a link to all these products in the description, but this is the MNMPPT60DIY. So that's a 60 amp, 150 volt, like I said, 3548 explanatory, 3500 watt inverter, 48 volt battery. This will charge from, I mean, this will run on 40 to 60 volts DC. So on your typical lead acid, it's a little tight on equalizing. So if you're using a flooded lead acid, you may not get a good equalization charge with this. But honestly, I've had a really good, I've had really good luck doing decent absorb charges on most lead acid batteries. If you use them properly, the equalizer is not quite as important. So yeah, I think that's about it. We just wanted to give you a quick, you know, five or six minute video show you the new products ups just dropped off and uh wish you guys a a great memorial weekend and hope you're all barbecuing something or swimming in your pool or drinking beer i know we're going to be not our pool we don't have one but we'll be barbecuing and drinking beer so have a great weekend don't forget to like and subscribe